All right, kids, it's after 1030. Let's get started. Um, so yesterday we were working on trying to find information on different animals. Did you kids all do that for homework? I hope. Tiger. Tiger. All right. Uh, let's start with Domi. Domi, did you choose an animal? Tiger. Tigers. Were you able to find some information about it? Yeah. Sometimes Good. they live in the jungle. That's true. Sometimes they do live in the jungle. Um, Kim Sai, did you choose an animal? No. No. Why not? Can you say? Oh, it up in afternoon. Animals, animals. Are you kids watching these videos that I make? No. No. I can tell. A test. All right. Choose an animal. Find some information. David, did you choose an animal? No. Why not? Oh. Why not? Yes. Because I cannot really. Um, I don't know. <laughs> because I can't really. That's not even a sentence. Gigi, did you choose an animal? And also, I did find an animal. You don't know any animals? Dogs. I just came. I don't know what we're doing. All right. Let's you could have chosen humans. Humans are animals. Um, hold on. Let me find. Oh, hold on. Let me pull up this worksheet we were working on before. Uh Uh, is any any more any any more we can choose any animal any animal probably an animal you like all right i think it was on page 38 let me make sure i like All right, this is on page 42 in your pupil's book. All right, so let's actually, let's go back to page, let's go back to page 41 here, okay? We already read this thing about hummingbirds and where they live. Is that what page it is? Once again, we're on page 41 in the pupil's book, which is green and has a giant capital P in the corner for pupil's book. And we're just trying to make an information report, okay? So before you make an information report, we need to figure out some information on whatever animal. So I asked all you kids to choose an animal, okay? so. At the very most, or at the very least, sorry, you should just write in an animal name here on page 42, whether it's tigers or dogs or cats or whatever you want to do, all right? Yes, Hannah, what's your question? I already picked the new packet, teacher. Okay, we are still working on the old one. Did you finish this already? Yes, I already finished. I write about panda. Oh, sweet. Okay. Panda bears. There goes another one. What does a panda bear eat, Hannah? Um, I just put bamboo. Bamboo. All right. That sounds right to me. All right. So, yes, kids, find an animal, and you can just put that as the title in the middle here, and then you want to tell me, where does it live? Okay. What does it eat? And then 
Uh, down here it says, we got three more questions. Special characteristics or habits. Okay, what are characteristics? What are habits? So um, special characteristics. This means, does it look uh, funny or special? Like obviously if you're like describing a giraffe, you would put special characteristic. It's got a super long neck, okay? Or habits, does it have anything weird? that it does or strange or unique, okay? Um, next, it says, how does it look after it's young? Okay, this means how does it take care of its babies? And then who or what is a danger to the animal? This means, does this animal have any enemies? Okay, maybe your animal gets eaten by some other animals or maybe humans are a danger to this animal, okay? All right, yes, Hannah. I don't know what to put in that question. I just oh, put like a danger animal. Yeah, um, so probably humans are an, a danger to pandas. Um, humans are a danger to many, many animals because we like to take up a lot of space and there are billions and billions of humans on the globe. Yes, Domi. Um, that's the question, how does it look after it's young? What does that question mean? This means how does, it, how does it take care of its babies? Oh. Yes, how does it look after? This means if you look after someone, you are taking care of them. So it's saying, how does it take care of its babies? Like for example, somebody yesterday, I forget, said they were going to do eagles. Eagles definitely have to push their babies out of the nest at some point because these babies have to learn how to fly. So I think the eagles just leave them in the nest until they are very, very hungry and then they try to get out of the nest. Yes, Joden, what's your question? Teach your best. Um, human kill every animal? Uh, yes, humans, I mean, maybe not on purpose, but uh, we have many, many humans on the globe. So um, yes. I wouldn't say like humans probably don't like to kill panda bears, but if we put up a bunch of houses in the middle of the jungle, then the panda bears don't have anywhere to live. So, uh, so does human kill ox? Ox, is that the animal you chose? Yes. Mm, sometimes, I mean, we, we make uh, hamburgers out of cows, so oxes oh. are closely related. Okay. Okay, but yes, um, we like to use oxes or oxen for uh, lots of work on the farm. So those are very useful animals. Kim Sai, what's your question? I found it. Uh, my favorite animal is cheetah. Cheetahs? Okay, that's a good animal to choose. All right. Um, Domi, what's your question? What's an ox? What is an ox? Um, well, I'll pull up a picture of it. We use them on farms. They are good. They are nice and big and strong. Um, is it sharp? Is it a shark? No, it's got legs. No, sharp. Is it sharp? What do you mean, is it sharp? Like scissors? Or do you mean, is it sharp? Yeah. It's sharp a, like scissors. An ox? Yeah. An ox looks like a cow. I don't oh, know how animals you said, would be sharp. I thought you said ax. Ox. Ox with an O-X. All right, kids. Let's... Uh, ox is just a kind of cow? Kind of. All right. Let's look at uh, our workbook. I'm going to switch over to the other green packet here. Workbook, practice five pages, 33. 
and 34, and then we'll know exactly what we are going to do for homework, okay? So let me find that real quick. Oh, I've got too many windows open. Margin push. All right. So on page 33 and 34, they are helping you write an information report about elephants. All right. So um, as we did with the hummingbirds, before we were talking about hummingbirds, and then uh, you kids are going to choose your own animal. But let's stick to elephants right now. Um, when you write an information report, you want to plan things out, okay? Uh, just go online and figure out a couple of different things, and then, then you have a lot of stuff to write about, okay? And I know there's a lot of information on the internet, and we don't need everything, okay? We just want a little bit of information. So let's check out how to organize that, okay? Uh, over here, I have appearance, food, behavior, and enemies, okay? These are going to be our subheadings, which means that these are what the paragraphs look like. Kim Sai, can you keep yourself on mute? Thank you. All right. Uh, so it says appearance. This just means what does the elephant look like, okay? And this is a good way to start your information report as well, okay? We want to know what these animals look like, whether you're dealing with a panda bear or a tiger or a giraffe or an elephant. So here's our topic sentence. Your topic sentence should go at the beginning of your paragraph. That way people understand what they're going to read about. What's your question, Kim Sai? Kim Sai, do you have a question? No. Okay. All right. So once again, you want to start with your topic sentence. Here's our topic sentence. The elephant is the largest animal that lives on land. All right. So after the topic sentence, we put supporting details. Okay. So if our topic sentence is about the appearance, what it looks like, um, we just want to tell a bit more about what elephants look like. So we can get on the internet. Kim Sai, do you have a question? No. All right, why do you keep clicking the raise hand button if you don't have anything to say? I want to know my computer has a raise hand. Yes, just click the button and it does it. Okay, all right, but let's not raise hand unless you have anything to say. All right, so once again, topic sentence. Let's also, uh, let's check this out, all right? We're talking about what the elephant looks like. So don't give a topic sentence that says the elephant is the largest animal and then start talking about food. We can save food for a whole different paragraph, okay? We want to make our first paragraph about what the elephant looks like the whole time, okay? So uh, let's go online and... We are online. So I am now on Google Chrome yes. here. Once again, let's keep yourself on mute unless you have a question, kids. It's kind of annoying. All right, um, we want to just type in whatever your uh, animal is, elephant, and I actually looked these up before. Um, so let's do, we're talking about what the elephant looks like, and we said it's the largest thing, so I just typed in the word elephant, 
size, okay? Then it's gonna give me a whole bunch of different information. We don't need to write all this down because this is too much stuff, okay? Maybe we can just take a couple of things and try and figure out uh, a few different sentences, all right? So here's one that says, African elephants are the largest of all land animals. Adult males weighing between 1,800 and 6,300 kilograms. All right, so this is super big. Um, then it says females, the ladies are a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm just going to take this biggest number I see, which is 6,300 kilos, and this smallest one that I see, which is 2,000. 700, that's probably a good range for the elephants. So I can make a sentence in my information report saying something along the lines of, uh, we can just say like, elephants weigh between uh, 2,700 and 6,300 kg or kilograms, all right? So that's a good detail we can put in there, all right? And if we're talking about size, um, we can talk about how tall is an elephant, okay? So I can see right here, it says height, 3.2 and 2.8. So we could also say probably, um, Elephants grow between 2.8 to 3.2 meters. That is super big. All right, so both of those are good sentences we can put in there um, dealing with the size of the elephant, what they look like. Okay, um, we could also add another sentence about the elephant's trunk or maybe it's super big ears, all right? Those are both good things to talk about if you're talking about the appearance, what elephants look like, okay? All right, but these sentences are fine. Um, let me go back, let's see, what else do we have here? All right, so we can also talk about food, okay? So topic number two, I'm just reading right off this worksheet. It says, the elephant's long trunk helps it to reach its food, which is high up in trees, all right? So now I'm just going to type in elephant food, or like, what does an elephant eat? And I'm sure Google Chrome will give me an answer here. All right. Um, elephant, whoopsie. Yes, Hannah, what's your question? Last time when I go to somewhere, I see some elephant. They are uh, like give pineapple to eat. Pineapples. Oh uh, yes, elephants eat lots of stuff. And I looked this up earlier. Um, elephant food. All right. So here's an elephant eating a pumpkin, and it looks like it's eating everything. All right. So here. If, uh, I'm sure the pumpkin looks like really small orange. Yes, because elephants are very big. So here's uh, Google Chrome has all these wonderful features. Maybe this is the question that we are trying to answer. Okay, here's one that says, what kind of food do elephants eat? So that's exactly what we're looking for. We can also say, how much food can an elephant eat in one day? David, did you have a question? Yes. What's your question? Do elephants eat everything from the trees? Well, that's exactly what we're going to find out. Joden, what's your question? Teacher, does elephant eat meat? We are going to figure that out very soon. Kim Sai, what's your question? So my question, how can we climb up a body elephant? Like, uh, we how climb can you up climb up an elephant? Yeah. When um, we climb up 
I would not climb up an elephant. Elephants are very big. They can probably hurt you. All right. So let's look up here. And squash I, you. Yes, elephants will definitely squash you. It says they weigh yeah, 6,000 kilograms. I only weigh like 70 kilograms. Yeah, but some people, they ride on the elephant. That's true. I don't think that's good for the elephants. All right. Uh, so here we have the diet. Okay, so Joden's saying, uh, do elephants eat meat? Do they eat everything from trees, all right? So it says elephant eats roots, which are those parts underground. Um, they eat grasses, fruit, like pineapples, and bark that is also part of the tree. They eat a lot of these things. And then it says an adult elephant can eat up to 300 pounds of food in a single day, which is, I don't know, man, that is a whole lot of food, but they are very, very big. So. These are both good things that we can put in our report. Here's uh, another question that says, is an elephant vegetarians? Elephants are herbivores, okay? This means they only eat vegetables. They do not eat other animals. So yes, they are vegetarians. Are they, are they carnivores? No, they are herbivores. Carnivores are... Tell me, let's read this sentence. Yes, once again, let's read this sentence. They are herbivores. They only eat plant material like fruits and bark and grass. All right, so all of these things are good things to write down as far as when we're talking about elephant food. Um, so uh, if you're making some sentences right now, we can say, you know, something like elephants like to eat roots, comma, grasses, comma, uh, fruit, comma, and bark. And then if you want to say Elephants are vegetarians or elephants are herbivores. That's a good word to know. I knew the word herbivore. To sure, can I say uh, elephants? Eat. Elephant eats three pounds a single day. How many pounds? 300, sorry. Oh, I thought you said three. Yes, they eat way more pounds than three. Okay, yeah, you can also say elephants eat about 300 pounds of food. They should exercise every more. Every day. Well, they do walk a lot. Um, but yes, they are super, super big. All right, so yeah, all three of those are good details to put in about okay. elephant's food. Just make sure that you're not uh, mixing up all your stuff, you know, like, so if your topic sentence is about food, make the whole paragraph about food. If your topic sentence is about uh, the enemies of the elephant, make the whole thing about that. Yes, Joden, what's your question? Teacher, the, we need to write all the stuff yeah, all of this should be on your worksheet, okay? So let's take a look. I'm actually, I'm going to, oh no, this doesn't work. Okay. Teacher Ramsey? Yes. Um, can we also copy the sentence that they made? Well, I want you to try and make your own sentences, so if that's a possibility that would probably be better. Because if we copy everything, you're gonna have way too much information. So here's supporting details. We can just write something like, elephants eat about 300 pounds of every day. Um, Teacher, you put a P, P, V in pound. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have a V. 
Yes, you keep saying the same thing over and over again. I am not finished. All right. They eat about 300 pounds of food every day. Um, we can also put... All right. Once again, kids, let's keep ourselves on mute, please. All right. They like to eat. All right. Uh, I forget exactly what we put. Bark, grasses, fruits, and roots. They are herbivores. Okay, so those are good things. All right, next it says behavior. How does an elephant act? Okay, does it have any special behavior? Um, here they're talking about mud baths, all right? So if our topic sentence is about mud baths, maybe we can find out a little bit more about mud baths. So it says mud baths protect the elephant from the sun and insects. So I am going to once again go back to our friend Google Chrome. And we can just look up elephant bass. All right. And I'm sure elephants, there's probably millions of videos with elephants taking baths. Here's one in a river. Here's one that says, is it okay to bathe with elephants? Okay. It says, so what is bath mean? What is a bath? Yeah, what does that mean? Making yourself clean, getting in water. Do you take baths or a shower? Yes. I hope I... so. If you don't take a bath, you're going to be stinky. Yes, David. So elephants just um, walking and running around the water when they're cleaning their cell? Yeah, it looks like it. But they... They use their trunks in these baths to spray water at each other, so that's one more thing we could put. Like water gun. Yes, like a water gun. You can put that in there as well. All right, so why do elephants bathe? Okay, here's something. It says mud baths are also important as it protects their skin from being burned by the sun. Um, Bathing with elephants is also a sign of trust, okay? How, here's one that says, how do elephants bathe themselves? Okay, so here it says, um, sometimes they roll in dust and mud and then they spray their skin with water. Okay, so we can put that as a sentence. You can say, uh, whoopsie, let me annotate this. All right, text. Let me make this a little bigger. All right. Elephants roll around in dust and mud. Then they spray each other with water. All right, so you could put something like that if you wanna put, you know, they're splashing in the river or anything like that, that is also fine, okay? Just make sure you are sticking on the same topic here, okay? This whole paragraph is gonna be about how the elephants act, okay? And they have made it about mud baths, so that's why I'm just looking up stuff on, on how they bathe how they take a bath. Yes, David, do you have another question? No. Oh, okay, sorry, I thought your hand was raised. 